is KCTV 5 News at 4. Well, do you or someone you know have an invention that you're sure would make you rich if only you could mass produce it and sell it? Well, then listen up to what our next guest is talking about. Carrie Jeske is here to tell us all about the sixth annual National Invention Contest. Hi, Carrie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some okay. of the inventions you guys have seen over the past five years uh, of interesting new inventions people have come up with. The first one being the, I think it's ingenious. Let's look at this the scooter bag. Backpack. This is genius. Yeah. I mean, it's just a backpack that connects to the scooter and it all folds into one shebang. That inventor was a young college kid and I think he Look was studying there to be a goes. patent attorney. And yeah, <gasps> great is, for college is campuses. That right, a patent attorney. He was one of the finalists a couple years ago. Very nice. And then we also got to see something that's pretty interesting. If you have a handicap tag that you wrestle with on your rear view mirror, this person came up with the handy cart. Is yes. that what you call it? The handy card, right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it makes you, it real convenient for a lot of seniors or disabled people. Yeah, and it just And that's of, a growing market too, and that's one of the things you want to look at is what is the market that your product's going into? And obviously our population is aging. And clearly inventions run the gamut. The next one you're going to see here is this syringe plunger that does amazing things as well. But, but tell us how this contest works. Well, we uh, we're the Inventors Club of Kansas City. We're one of the largest most active inventor organizations in the country. We're and we began to realize that our invention our inventors really needed an, an outlet to license off their product ideas. A lot of people don't want to go through all the time and expense to make their idea. They want to can license be it off. Quite difficult. Very expensive, very time conducive, and a lot of people really just don't have the business skills required to do that. Sure. So it's much less expensive uh, to license it off to a larger company. So we partnered up with Faultless Bunny Amy, the makers of the Garden Weasel. They're here in town, a local company, very progressive, very innovative, and they began sponsoring these contests for us. And over the years, it has just grown and grown. And now our, our meetings are actually nationwide. We're live web streamed every month from the Kauffman Foundation Conference Center. And we take over the main room uh, for our annual event on August 2nd. We've got people from all around the country that come in. What we do is we take submissions in okay. from around the country. We narrow it down to the top 20. Those top 20 come to the event on the 2nd. In Kansas City. In Kansas City. Right. We've got a panel of judges from Hallmark to uh, different distributors to Faultless by NAMI executives. And we vote. Uh, they vote. And there's a People's Choice Award on the top ones. Those people that are selected go to Faultless the next day and they go through a due diligent process. And we've licensed six or seven ideas now. To oh, them. That's so, so exciting. It's very good. So tell me when you're you're casting the net now saying if you have an invention send it yeah. in. How, how do you do that? I mean, do we send you an actual product? No, that's a great question. Okay. Um, you really don't even have to have a product. What you have Ooh. to have is intellectual protection. So there's three basic kinds of patents. There's the provisional patent, the patent pending, the utility patent. How do we get that? You can't really get a patent pending and utility patent under this short time notice. So right. if you have one or know someone that does, they could submit. But you could get a provisional patent and just file yourself for about $100 through the uh, trademark office, or you can hire an attorney for around 500 and you could protect your idea under that. Now, there are pros and cons of those, and you'd want to consult an attorney for that. But you could get a provisional patent now for your idea, submit it to our contest online, and you could end up being one of the winners. I'll be darned. Isn't that something else? Real quickly, go through these five steps we just okay. looked at here. Five steps to getting an invention to market. Well, real it's, quickly. It's okay. Um, you want to research and validate your idea before you spend any money. Research and Make validate sure it's it online. Work. Right. Yeah. And it's not out there. Then you want to patent and pro prototype Which is it. What we talked about. And then manufacture or license. That's kind of a fork in the road. And then market. And so those are the science of the process. But the art is. You know, how fast can you go through it and, and what industry did and your product And this can help in? speed up the process. Much. Very much. Yes. If, if the topsy-turvy and the pillow pets can make it, so can you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so we have put a link to the submission form on our website. In case you're interested or know someone who might be, this could be quite exciting. All right, we'll talk again Thanks. closer to contest time. Yes. All right, we'll be thank back you with very some ideas. much. Yeah, Thanks. This is going to be fun.